Hello friends, welcome back to DevOps scene. In this video, we are going to learn process management in Linux. So here you can see this is my article. And in this article, we are going to cover how to process management works on Linux system. So let's start. So firstly, what is process? So a running instance of a program or a programming execution is known as process. When a command executed, it creates a process and every process will be assigned a process ID or PID. That PID means process ID. Then next, what is process management? So monitoring, turning and controlling instance of running application is known as process management. And there are many tools available to manage process on Linux system. So you can see here there is two types of process here. So the first type is foreground process. So what is foreground process? Also known as interactive process and get initialized through a terminal session by taking its input from keyboard and sending output back to the same terminal. And this process will not start automatically as a part of system functions or services and they do not allow any process to run the terminal until the process is killed or terminated by itself because the prompt would not be available. For example, here you can see here the command. So the command is ls hyphen l then star dot txt. That means that uh, uh, txt extension files will show. So and the star that means that before dot txt extension you uh, show the files name right so you can see here here if i run the ls command you can see i have sample directory so need to enter this sample directory and now here if i run the ls hyphen el then star and dot txt that means show the txt files so you can see here i have txt files demo txt and sample.txt and here if i simply run the ls command that means read the read all the files you can see there is four files i have four files demo one demo.txt file and sample.txt so if i run this ls have an ls star.txt command so you can see here, they will show you dot txt file then the next is background process so also known as non-interactive process are not connected to a terminal or keyboard and usually do not need any kind of user input. They run on their own. So you can see here the example of background process sleep 500 and and you can see here the and indicates background process. So if I run the sleep 500 and before run this command, if I run the jobs command, you can see here there is no any running job here if I run the command jobs. So now here I'm going to run sleep 500 and and sign. And now I'm going to run job command jobs. So you can see there is only one running job sleep 500 and and now here if I want to remove this job running on background then here i will run this fg command fg means foreground and now i'm going to run jobs command so you can see there is no any running job you can see stop not running you can see a stop now if you want to this stop job become run then run the bg command then it will run now if i run the jobs command you can see it's running right so now after that here i'm going to add one more job here slip thousand then and and now if i run the jobs command you can say there is two jobs running sleep 500 and sleep 1000 you can see here right then after that i'm going to add one more job sleep 2000 
okay now clear the screen and let's run the jobs command so now we have three jobs you can say three jobs 500 1000 and 2000 then after that here here if i want to stop this second job this second sleep thousand job then here the command is like this fg because i want this this job is running on background background right that means bg now i want to uh, this sleep thousand become fg for ground so that's why the command is fg2 that two because i want to stop this background uh, job second that means sleep thousand so that's why here i mentioned the number two here you can see the two if you want to one then you can enter one if you want to three you can enter three but i want to stop this second job that's why here i mentioned two then now run the command jobs so you can see the second job will automated stop and you can see here the and sign remove because it's not background running that's why the and process remove sorry the and sign remove and the state is stop if you want to st uh, stop replace with running then run the command bg space 2 then now it will running you can see the state is running of second job that slip thousand okay now the say next is a listing running process so if i run the ps hyphen f command you can see here the list of running process the sudo su bash sleep 5000 sleep 100 sleep 2000 ps and f that we have run command then the next is there are few important command argument which you can use along with ps command so the a indicates shows information about all users so in the command ps hyphen a you show the information about all users then second is hyphen x so shows information about process with terminal so run the command ps hyphen x it will show the process with terminal you can see here that means cmd you can see the commands that we have run now clear the screen then next is ps hyphen u sorry ps hyphen e display extended information ps hyphen e it will display extended information about linux you can see here now clear the screen then next and last is ps hyphen u you can see it will show additional information ps hyphen u you can see the additional information like vsz rss tty start start time and command so on then the next is stopping or killing running process by pressing ctrl c so if a process is running in foreground and you can stop or kill that process by pressing ctrl plus c for example here if i want to run any job on foreground process so the command is like this sleep 100 and here i am not mentioning and because it's not running on foreground uh, sorry background it's uh, it will running on foreground that's why here i am not mentioned and command sorry and sign so the command is sleep 100 and then press enter now if i, if I want to kill this uh, job so here i will print her, uh, i will uh, enter uh, control plus c so it will automatically kill this sleep 100 job right if i run the jobs command you can see there is no any job of 100 you can see of 500 1000 and 2000 right then next is by using kill command if you want to kill any job so you can see how the command is in order to kill terminated a process running on a background use kill command to kill the process so now here 
here now i'm going to add one more job here uh sleep 100 and here i'm going to mention and because i want to running in background now if i run the jobs command so you can say there is add one more job 100 sleep 100 and the position is 4 right then here i'm going to run this ps hyphen f grip command ps hyphen f then pi then grip sleep so you can see here the details and now here i want to kill this 500 uh pi uh, 500 uh, job so firstly the command is like this kill hyphen nine and pid so this is pid of this job three four four seven three four four seven then press enter so you can see a kill done so let's check so run the command jobs so you can see there is no job using slip 500 now if i want to kill this uh, 100 uh, slip so firstly run the command ps hyphen f then pipe grip slip and check the pid that means process id so the this uh, this slip 100 process id is 3475 so run the command kill hyphen 9 three four seven five and then check so run the command jobs so you can say there is no any running job using sleep 500 you can see here there is only two jobs running thousand and two thousand right so that's the kill job so what is kill command so kill is a native linux command which sends a signal to specified process or process groups causing them act according to the signal so following the kill signal so if you want to check then you can run the command kill hyphen l so you can see other signals of kill so you can check it one by one so that's the process management of linux so thank you for watching our video i hope you like the video and it's helpful to you so please like share and subscribe our devops channel